Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Now Lululemon has come out with a lot of duffel bags, tote bags, bags in general, and I've reviewed many of them on the channel. Today I'm back with another one. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Lululemon Clean Lines tote bag. Now I'm gonna let you guys know things I like about it and don't like about it and whether or not I think it's worth it. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So, as you guys can see, my cat has come and interrupted the video and she really likes this bag. I can tell you she likes it more than I do. <laughs> okay, so I have this belt bag in the color white opal and it does have kind of black along the sides. And it also came out in some other great colors as you can see on screen. And the current price of this bag is $98. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the logo. We do have that patch logo. Definitely more of a low key option for those of you who don't like something super flashy. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the front, back and inside of the bag. So this is the front of the bag here. You can see the strap kind of does extend, it is adjustable. This is the back. Almost the exact same thing minus the logo. The bottom, now inside of the bag. To get there, we do have a zippered closure. We do have this Lululemon hardware right here. Kind of nice to see. And we have a lot of space on the inside here. On this side of the bag, we do have two mesh pockets and a little kind of side water bottle pocket. And then on the other side of the bag, there is nothing, no other pockets. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right guys, so when it comes to this duffel here, you can use it in a couple different ways. The first you can do is just hold the strap like this. This is not something I like to do because there is zero padding on the strap, but you do have this option. Another one, you can pop it over your forearm, kind of use it like that. And then you can go ahead and put it over your shoulder, which is the way I like to use it. It is quite big as you guys can see. The material is pretty smooth and comfortable here against your skin. If you're just using it with, you know, your bare shoulder, if you're wearing a dress or if you're wearing a sleeve, a short or something, for example. Another thing is that we can adjust the straps right here. On both sides, you can make it a little bit tighter, a little bit looser using the adjustment here. And the good thing is that when you do adjust it, it stays in place. I have not had it loosen on me at all. So I think this could accommodate different body sizes and preferences here when it does come to the strap. And all right guys, now I'm gonna get into the major highlights about this bag. So it's great for shopping on the go, casual wear, the gym, overnight trips, and more. It's made of a lightweight water repellent fabric. It has a very spacious 22 liter capacity that can hold basically everything you need in it. We also have some mesh interior pockets, one of those being a water bottle pocket. It has a zippered closure and the dimensions of this bag are 22.4 inches by 5.9 by 14 inches. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you what this duffel bag can hold, what I'll typically put inside of my duffel bag. I'm gonna pack this maybe like I'm going on a trip for a weekend or so. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in one of the mesh pockets here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to pack a water bottle. I love to stay hydrated on the go. Here I have the Lululemon Back to Life water bottle, 24 ounce. It's about approximately 710 milliliters. I'm gonna put that in the little water bottle pocket. So this pocket is actually quite stretchy, but it's not gonna fit like massive water bottles. This is the largest water bottle I am able to fit in here. So there we go. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some clothes in here. So I have with me three pairs of leggings, kinda all folded up. I'm gonna put that in here. And I have a shirt, swiftly long sleeve shirt. I have kind of like a little tank top all rolled up. And I have a little jacket as well. So the next thing I'm gonna put in here is dual pouch wristlet. And I'm gonna put that in one of the mesh pockets at the back. My car keys, so I'm gonna put that in that pocket as well. As always, I love to bring a pen with me, so I'm gonna bring that in that pocket. Also have a little hair tie as well, gonna throw that in. And I'm just gonna bring a book with me because why not? <laughs> so I've tried to bring one of my biggest books right now and we have this cookbook here that I love to use. You guys can see by my little tabs. So I'm gonna put that in here as well. 
So being 22 liters, you could fit so much in here. So right now, this is where I would stop because if you fill it up any more than that, it's gonna get super heavy. But you can see there's definitely even more room I could fit, you know, the bag is very spacious. It's very much like a jacket zipper, you know, you gotta kinda line it up and put it in. And you can see it's pretty full and you can definitely see some indents of stuff that's in there. Best thing about this bag is that it is very spacious. So if you're looking to carry a lot with you, this is a great option. So one thing that's good about this bag is that it can stand on its own when you do have stuff in it. The bottom is kind of flat enough to do that. So this bag does have a zipper. It's a zipper that does not span the entire width of the bag for whatever reason. And one thing I want to point about the zipper is that it is solid. I've had no catching, hiccuping, any issues at all with it. So, there's a little demo for you. And once again, there are holes at the side because it does not span the entire width. So for some of you that might be a pro or a con, for me, a little bit of both. I find it a bit annoying that it doesn't span the entire way. But then again, on the bright side, it makes it easy to put things away. So if I have a water bottle, I can just pop it in there without having to zip it open. So it's kind of handy in that regard. But on the other side, let's say you drop it, you can have stuff falling out of the little holes at the side, like something just fell on the floor. <laughs> you guys heard? So you can definitely have stuff falling out with these little holes if you do drop it and you're not careful as well. So as a quick size comparison, I just wanted to show you guys an everywhere belt bag beside it. So this is, you know, an everywhere belt bag, a one liter bag. And <laughs> this is how it stacks up. This is a 22 liter bag. So you guys can see like it's a crazy <laughs> amount of difference. Bigger, wider, longer, everything. I have noticed some cons about this duffel bag here. So the first con for me, one thing I don't like is that it's not very structured and it's very floppy as you can see. So it doesn't do a good job at kind of holding up its shape. And it does fall over very easily once you do have it sitting up. This material here that they're using, it easily attracts pet hair, lint, crumbs, you name it, super easily on your bag. So you're gonna have to constantly kind of lint roll it and wipe it down to make sure that it's looking good. And that's something I just find a bit annoying because I do have a cat and her hair gets all over this bag all the time. Another con for me is I don't like how basic it is. It's very minimal. I would have liked to have, you know, some extra pockets on the outside or the inside instead of just having these, the mesh here. Like, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. We really should have had some zippered pockets on the inside. We should have had pockets in general on this side of the bag. There is just nothing. So I really don't like how basic it is. Another con for me is the price. At $98, I think this is definitely overpriced because this is a very basic minimal bag with no padding on the strap. And it can get pretty uncomfortable if you are carrying heavier items. And it doesn't have a crossbody strap, so I'm not able to just pop it over my shoulder. I can only carry it like this and you kind of have to hold the strap. It's not great for organization. To be quite honest, when I'm using this duffel bag, I find a very similar experience as to using this. A free shopping bag you'd get from Lululemon when you buy anything. So. I mean, whether you want to spend $98 on this or if you want to just head into Lululemon, buy something, get this for free, you get a very similar experience here, to be honest, because like I said, very, very basic, <laughs> hardly any pockets. The strap is also not padded at all here, not padded, a lot of storage, a lot of storage. So hey, very similar experience, guys, quite honestly. Um, if you are looking to get a great bag from Lululemon, I would actually recommend picking up the Side Cinch Shopper Bag over this. It's cheaper, it looks better, it has a lot better pockets and organization as well, and it's a more structured bag in general because this bag has very little structure and it's super floppy. And another little con that I've noticed is there it has been a little bit of misstitching on the bag I have here. For example, right down here, you can see this part is pulled a little bit more here on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. And on the strap, uh, loose stitching as well. Not a huge deal by any means, but something that does bug me, especially in a bag this expensive. Overall, I do think that it's solid bag, like it has good construction. It's nice to have a zippered closure there and a little bit of mesh pockets. And it is nice to have an adjustable strap for those of you who want that feature. But for me, this bag has more cons than pros. For the price point, I think there are better options from Lululemon. And there are other items within the similar price range, either a little bit higher or lower, that offer a better experience in my opinion. But all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the capacity, the functionality, the comfort, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give it a 6.4 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So 
If you guys are looking to pick up this bag, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description below, and I've thrown a link down there for the side cinch shopper bag in case you guys wanna pick up that bag as well. If you guys have this bag and you think differently and you really like it, comment below, let me know what you really like about this. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.